Hello YouTube, Uncle Lucky here and welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Quiz and Art. Today we're going to talk about the amazing, beautiful, odd, eccentric, off-the-wall commercial for Batman vs. Superman. Um, I've still got the goosebumps. They're all tingly up and down my back, my arms. Here's the thing. I watched the commercial just five, ten minutes ago. And I gotta tell you, <laughs> part of me was really, really excited. I mean, I, I almost, I just got really excited, sweaty, and all that stuff. But the other part of me kind of said, you know, they, they, this is weird. I think they put way too much in the commercial. If you watch this commercial from beginning to end, you pretty much get the entire movie. They just... I don't think there's any room for surprises, to tell you the truth. That's... Uh, yeah. I enjoyed the commercial. I really did. I'm super excited and stoked to see this movie. I am a big Justice League fan. I'm a big... Just a big fan of all of that. I'm a big fan of DC, but... They just threw so much into this commercial that it almost, from beginning to end, seemed like you watched a very condensed version of the movie. And I'm trying to figure out whether little what what is left to be there. You know, it starts off with Bruce Wayne and and Clark Kent face to face and talking smack, and then from there. You know, it goes into them meeting Lex Luthor, basically, or, you know, Clark Kent being introduced to Lex Luthor and realizing that he's a madman. And then it goes straight into uh, both sides, you know. It looks like Lex Luthor is taunting both of them into the fight. He's, he's making it happen. He's making the fight happen somehow. And he's getting both of them at each other's throats, and then there's media, and then there's what what Bruce Wayne's perspective of everything is, and he calls out, you know, Superman, basically. And it goes from there, but all of a sudden, you know, you get into them fighting, and Lex Luthor says that, you know, the Superman versus the man from Gotham City, and then it shows them duking it out. And then you go into another part of the commercial where Alfred's the voice of reason trying to talk sense into Batman. And then all of a sudden, the entire theme of the commercial flips. It's weird. Batman and Superman are duking it out, man. They are blowing up half the city, it looks like. They, you know, he's in the Batwing and he's shooting them down. And, and all of a sudden, the commercial completely flips. And here comes Doomsday popping out, and jumping and hitting the ground, and he's shooting laser beams out of his eyes, and then there's Wonder Woman. And then the three of them are all standing next to each other like best friends, and they're ready to fight. It's an amazing commercial. It's beautiful. It, it's, it's got everything that I want in it. At the same time, I think they just gave the entire movie away. <laughs> it's a... I don't know. I'm going to put the link in the, in the description below and all that, but, I mean, you guys tell me. What do you think? Uh, I think they just gave the entire movie away in the commercial. And the, mo the commercial's like three minutes and some change long. So that's pretty long for a commercial, isn't it? Uh, is it just me? And most commercials run like a minute, something like that. I'm having a hard time with this one, man. I, it's almost like they just gave the entire movie away. It had been rumored that Doomsday was going to be the movie anyway. Uh, you know, people had been going back and forth about that for a while. But now we've got confirmation, which I didn't want confirmation. I didn't want confirmation that Doomsday was going to be in the movie. I really didn't. Uh, I wanted that to be kind of, if he was going to be in the movie, that should have been saved as that holy shit moment when you're sitting in the movie theater where it's supposed to be. But, I don't know. Unless there's something else in the background going on that, that we're not privy to that's going to happen in the movie, 
they just completely gave the entire plot of the movie away in a three minute commercial and that's it so I was really happy to see it but at the same time good God <laughs> you guys tell me what you think